Oh, say shalom bim romav. Today I have here my grandmother, Sandra Rubenstein. We will be cooking potato latkes, which is her favorite all-time Jewish meal. And before we get into the cooking, I will be asking her a couple questions regarding her childhood and how she was introduced to potato latkes. So first off, where were you born and what was your Jewish community like? Uh, I was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, we had a very warm and inviting uh, community. Uh, it was two-thirds Jewish. Do you celebrate every Jewish holiday in mm. your community? We celebrated every Jewish holiday. Uh, my grandparents lived with us. Uh, they were very Orthodox religious Jews, so they were very much into Jewish holidays. Well, my favorite holiday, uh, I had two actually, Hanukkah and Passover. Mm -hmm. And uh, we kept a, a kosher home. And uh, so we, you know, we prepared all the things and made sure that they were done properly. How do you spend the Jewish holidays? Uh, we spent them uh, eating this delicious food. Uh, they, these were from recipes that came from generation to generation. Whereas my grandmother came down to my mother, to me, and so we had the opportunity to keep this tradition going. difficult to gather the supplies for these distinct recipes? No, no, not really. Uh, we never uh, an issue at all. It weren't fancy recipes. They were things that were readily available and uh, they were always able to, if they didn't have one thing in the house, they used found something else to substitute. So we were fine with that. At the family meals, who typically hosted the Jewish holidays? Well, I grew up in a house that hosted the Jewish holidays. People came to us because my grandparents lived with us. So the rest of the family came together there. And um, I brought that with me when I got married. I had the pleasure uh, of doing this for many, many years until my wonderful children now have taken over but it was enjoyable for me. I followed the same tradition. Right. Yeah. So, um, how has the tradition of cooking potato latkes become a ritual in our family? Well, or just in general in, in Judaism? Well, it's um, oil is used a lot at Hanukkah in cooking, and potato latkes, and they are known as potato pancakes, uh, they are fried in oil. That is tradition. And as many other dishes, at Hanukkah are too. They use a lot of oil and um, that's how most foods were done for this and um, you know that's how we cook them. Right.
In terms of cooking, why have women always been responsible for accomplishing my task? Well, in my growing up time, men did not cook. It seemed that that was considered a woman's job. So men did their thing and left the cooking, you know, up to the ladies. Moms and grandmoms and sisters and aunts, mm -hmm. whomever, you know. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's enough of talking, let's get to the cooking. Okay, we got that terrific recipe here with us and we're yeah. gonna use it. Uh, so right now we are cooking the potato latkes. I'll leave it to my grandma to do it for us. Yes, we're going to, I'm going to show you all the ingredients that go into my recipe. My recipe calls for two eggs, calls for four grated potatoes, which I will be grating, uh, four onions, which I will be grating also. We're going to have salt. We're going to have pepper in here. We're going to have flour. We're going to have shortening. I will give you the preparation of it. We beat the two eggs first and we add the grated potatoes and onion and salt and pepper and flour. And when we have everything incorporated well, and by the way, when you're making it, make sure that you get the moisture out of the grated potatoes before you put it into the mixture. Anyhow, when you have that all incorporated, you get a nice hot frying pan and you take a tablespoon and put a tablespoon of the mixture into the hot pan and you actually babysit it. You watch it and when you see it getting brown, you turn them over. Put them on as you're making them, put them on a plate put them on a paper towel to absorb the oil. And if you, this recipe that I have, that I gave you, uh, which is, to, you know, I gave you all the ingredients, calls for about eight to 10. If you want to double it, you double it. And what we're going to do now is we're going to start cooking and making, and we're going to be back. We're going to show you the finished product. And I'm sorry you won't be here to eat it. So here's the final product of our latkes. Well, I'm being careful because it's a hot pan. They look and smell wonderful. And when you serve them, make sure you have sour cream and applesauce because some people love to top it with sour cream. Some people like to top it with applesauce. They smell delicious. And this was a pleasant, pleasant experience for me. Thank you.